in this question cache memory block size given as 64 byte we need to access that 64 byte data from the main memory after that we need to calculate how much time is required to access 64 byte data from the main memory unit that is the objective of the question okay just read the question once here cache memory block size given 64 bytes this is the block size main memory has k banks main memory having k banks each bank being c bytes wide what it mean main memory cell size is equal to c bytes consecutive c byte chunks are mapped on consecutive banks with wrap around that means consecutive bytes of data stored in the consecutive banks in a wrap around wrap around matlab first byte is in first bank second byte is in second bank tenth byte is in tenth bank if we have a 10 banks again 11th byte is in first bank that is the meaning of wrap around storage sequence okay all the k banks can be accessed in parallel but two two accesses to the same bank must be serialized that means we may access all the banks in parallel but we cannot access two cells of the same bank at a time so two cells accessing two accesses to the same bank is serialized okay we may access all the banks in parallel we cannot uh, access two locations or two cells of the same bank in parallel okay two accesses to the same bank is serialized all right a cache block access may involve multiple iterations of a parallel back accessing depends on amount of data obtained by accessing all the k banks in parallel that means cache block accessing time depends on the amount of data we are accessing from the main memory unit so in one iteration how much data we are accessing from the main memory unit based on that you can able to decide number of iterations so cache memory block accessing may involve multiple iterations to access the data from the memory unit okay which is having k banks they are accessing in parallel all right so each iteration requires decoding the bank numbers to be accessed in parallel and it takes k by 2 nanosecond latency of one bank is 80 nanosecond c value given k value given then what is the latency of retrieving the cache block starting from address 0 okay starting address given 0 so from the starting address onwards if you want to access the cache memory block how much time is required this is the question okay so if you want to formulate the question it is looking like this first of all cache memory block size given that is equal to 64 byte okay main memory organization given like this main memory contain k banks this is the bank 1 let us say bank 1 next bank 2 and so on bank k like this we have a k banks bank k so in each bank we have a set of cells every cell is holding c byte space c byte chunks c byte space okay all right all the banks are accessed in parallel you may access all the banks in parallel 
parallel accessing possible. But accessing of same bank two times must be serialized. All right. Latency of bank given 80 nanoseconds. That is mentioned. 80 nanoseconds. Okay. Right. Decoder latency K by 2 nanosecond. After K by 2 nanoseconds, decoder send the signal to all the banks. Clear? Right. This is the main memory unit. From this main memory, we need to access the one cache block. How much time is required to access cache block from this unit? That we need to calculate. All right. So here, if you see the data size which is obtained in one iteration, see this. One iteration time equal to decoder latency plus bank latency. This is the one iteration time. Then amount of data amount of data obtained per iteration amount of data obtained per iteration equal to k banks are accessed in parallel from every bank c bytes are coming k into c bytes this much data will be obtained in each iteration from the main memory all right now k value given c value given k equal to see this k value k is equal to 24 c is equal to 2 bytes then what is the iteration time then how much data will be obtained per iteration so here then one iteration time is equal to k by 2 24 by 2 nanoseconds plus 80 nanoseconds this is 92 nanoseconds this is one iteration time next amount of data obtained per iteration is equal to k into c kc bytes so k value already given 24 c value 2 bytes okay so this is equal to 48 bytes 48 byte data we can obtain in one iteration from the main memory but what the question says we need to access the cache block cache block size is 64 byte so that cache block accessing may involve multiple iterations they mentioned multiple iterations may be involved so here in one iteration 48 byte data is obtained therefore to access one cache block minimum two iterations required okay all right here here cache block size is size equal to 64 bytes therefore minimum two iterations are required required to access the cache block two iterations are required to access access the cache block from the main memory therefore accessing time equal to so accessing time equal to 2 into 92 nanosecond one iteration time is 92 nanosecond two iterations time equal to 2 into 92 nanosecond so value is 184 nanosecond 
So, 184 nanoseconds time is required to access cache block from the main memory unit. Okay, students. So, this is the way to solve the question. This is the conceptual question. So, that everything is mentioned in the question according to the given question data, we visualized the memory structure. Okay. Accordingly, we answer the question. So, one iteration time is 92 nanoseconds. One iteration data size is 48 bytes. Cache memory block size is 64 byte. So, to access cache block minimum two iterations required. So, one iteration time 92 nanosecond, two iterations time equal to 184 nanoseconds. Okay, students, all right. Now, go back to the question. What the question says? What is the time required to access the cache block starting from address 0? Okay, this is a multiple choice question. Answer is D. D is matching. D is the right answer. Okay, students. answer is D. Is it clear? Hope you understand the solution. Alright.